every several years, almost like clockwork, we've had a chance to bring something that I think is special to this stage. Something, that something is the latest generation of IP routing silicon, the FP. Now the FP is the core technology and the foundation of our service provider router portfolio. It's one of the keys to our success in helping you, our customers, build and transform the world's IP networks. We have kept our focus enabling the best silicon platforms and software for you, the service provider. I'm incredibly excited and proud to introduce the FP5 to you today. With the FP5, we are holding to the same philosophy as the FP4. No compromises in our design and fully focus on the requirements of the service provider. Cost effectively increasing speed, of course. Power, lowering power, yeah, that's a given. But we have noticed this is where the industry seems to have stopped. Marketing numbers of speed and power have become so incredibly important. Vendors are willing to trade away capabilities and completely abandon flexibilities to enable the advertising of big numbers. We believe they have decided that you need to get dumb to go fast. We proved with the FB4 you could provide flexibility and capabilities without trading away speed. The FB5 will do the same. Service provider networks are critical network assets. I think this pandemic has proven that. Assets that are under constant attack. The introduction of security features in the FB4 was not a fluke. It was not a one-off. It was a beginning. The FB4 started the introduction of features to protect the network. The FB5, we're going to start introducing features to protect the traffic going over it. FP5 will introduce Nokia AnySec flow-based encryption. Now, traditionally, flow-based encryption is expensive. It's power inefficient and operates at a fraction of the network speeds. Nokia AnySec does not have these limitations. It operates at 64-byte line rate on all ports from 10 gig to 1.6 tera. It, of course, provides layer one hop-to-hop -hop encryption but it's service aware. It allows flow-based encryption at layer two, two and a half, and three, enabling full end-to-end -end coverage without needing any SEC equipment at each hop in between. There is no additional packet caching or buffering, so it has no latency hit. And it's integrated into the design, so it falls within our 0.1 watt per gig power number. AnySec allows customers to encrypt and protect flows within their network or between where you don't necessarily know whose network and whose equipment may have access to data. SRS. When we announced the SRS solutions, we said they were shipped with the FP4, but they were designed for the FP5. And that's proven out. The FP5 requires no power or cooling upgrades and the true Faraday cage design easily handles 112 gig Surtees emissions without modifications. With the FP5, the SR7S evolves to 86.4 tera or 115 with intelligent integration. And the SR14 goes to 172.8 tera and intelligent aggregation takes it to 230 tera. This is an FP5 SRS line card. 36 ports of QSP DD800, allowing you to install any QSP shipping today from 10 gig to 400 gig with 800 gig to boot in any slot. And I'm being redundant, but not everybody needs 19 tera. So we will offer cost and power effective line cards down to 2.4 and several points in between. And every single card will be completely 100% backwards compatible to all existing FP4 cards. No new chassis, no new power, and no new fans. Just replace the fabric and go. We're also expanding the SR1S and 2S product lines. 
The SR1SE moves to 14.4 tera with 19.2 intelligent aggregation. The SR2SE in just five RU gives you 28.8 tera or 38.4 with intelligent aggregation. In 2017, we introduced the SR1, a box that supports all features on our biggest routers from access to BNG, all in a two RU form factor. But with the FP4, we had only one box. With the FP5, we are expanding it to six different configurations in different combinations from high density SFPDD to QSFPDD 800. One of the boxes will be fully loaded with 48 ports of QSFP DD800. The SR1s are a family of little boxes with a heck of a lot of power. To wrap this up, I'm incredibly excited and proud to introduce the FP5 to you today. For the fifth generation in a row, our engineers have risen to the occasion and raised the bar, delivering unmatched silicon technology. We believe the FP5 not only moves the yardstick forward on basic higher speeds and power efficiency, but it does so without compromising or sacrificing the capabilities required to build high performance, reliable, and efficient service provider networks. It also retains the flexibility to implement the new protocols, services, and applications that will come in the future.